All right, guys, so now it's now my buddy Scott's turn to do a little walk around. So Scott and I have been friends for a little while. We've been on a few trips together, and he's got this really cool Ford Ranger behind me. I'm going to let him tell you about it. Scott, uh, like Hunter said, I've been on a few camping trips with him. Uh, this is my son, Ken. Say Hello. Hi. So uh, him and I go out camping with New Holland Overland, Orbis, <laughs> Rebel Outdoors all the time. And what we take camping with us is a 2021 Ford Ranger. Uh, we chose this pretty much because we're a Ford family and it fits our needs, it's comfortable, and it gets all our gear to where we want to go. It's nice. So starting up front, we have a uh, 589 Fab hidden winch mount with a uh, Warren 10S winch. Uh, we have the Baja design fog lights with the ditch lights for when we're getting into camp late. Uh, it is the trimmer edition, so it's got <coughs> uh, factory suspension still, but uh, with that comes with uh, skid plates. Fox 2.0 shocks front and rear with reservoirs as well as a one inch lift from the factory. Uh, it also has some pretty decent side steps that I'm using as sliders right now, but uh, they've uh, taken a few hits, they've held up pretty well. So uh, Graphic Gurus in Zealand did the, gra uh, did the wrap for this trip. Um, it's kind of based off of Orbis Overland's wrap, so we kind of had a theme for the expedition. Um, it's got the trip sponsors um, on it as well as the mountains from you know Wyoming and trees so on the back of the rack I have a New Holland Overland uh, mid-rise bed rack um, Jeremy over there designed the rack for me and I went with that because I have seven foot garage doors and I like to park inside so this allows me to keep everything uh, low and in the garage and away from people viewing what I have on my truck um, under that I have a roll tonneau cover um, does not help with dust. It uh, lets all the dust in, but it does keep everything dry in there. Um, in the bed of the truck, I have Built Right Industries Molly panels on the passenger side. Um, and to that, I have my power tank mounted, as well as some roto packs. Um, I have a Dometic fridge, as well as their slide in the bed, um, which I just have mounted to some plywood. Um, and for a trip like this, we're just using it for drinks and a little bit of extra food. But uh, when Ken and I go out, it's nice to have the extra space. On the, on the New Holland rack, I do carry um, a one-up bike rack for my mountain biking and road biking. Um, and then I carry my Max tracks up there. A Plano bin, which I usually store tools, air hoses, uh, recovery gear in. And then on the far side, I have a American Adventure Lab, I believe is the brand. Uh, they're sleeper keeper, and I usually either keep my gazelle gazebo, or if we're going out with the wife and my daughter, 
uh, we'll put the other Gazelle T410 up there. Um, that way everybody has a spot to sleep. Um, for radios, I'm using a GMRS Midland radio. Um, I've got a diesel bulletproof billet mount behind the third brake light for the, um, for the antenna. And that's pretty much it for the mods on the truck. Something new that Ken and I have been using uh, this year is the Vector Off-Road Armadillo trailer. <clears throat> um, because I do go out with a family of four at times, it is nice to have the extra capacity and uh, being able to carry everything we need for a family. Um, on this, we have a Free Spirit um, Recreation Evolution tent. Um, it's a hard tent or a hard top tent, so it sets up super easy. Um, I did upgrade the electronics in it. So I put a Red Arc Manager 30. So that'll handle solar charging, um, DC to DC charging, as well as shoreline power. Um, I carry usually two water roto packs on this, but due to this trip and the mileage, um, I've been running the gas roto packs on this. Um, towing the trailer, the fuel capacity on the truck is about 18 gallons so i've been getting the least amount of range out of everybody on this trip so that's kind of been a little bit of a hindrance um, but continuing on with the tour oh yeah so for a fridge on the trailer i have a domatic 95 liter dual zone fridge which for this trip has been phenomenal it's bread. been holding all the food for the entire team there's a lot of bread in here um i've been doing most of the cooking I'm trying to handle that because I don't do a lot of the other stuff that the guys do with filming and such so I've been trying to handle the cooking and helping out in that area. So this center part of the trailer is pretty much just straight up storage. Um, I'm using, I don't know, I think I got about eight Plano bins in there. Um, I've got them all labeled and then, you know, um, just use that to keep everything from bouncing around and trying to keep it neat. So if we come down to around to the back, this is where uh, the trailer really shines for cooking because it's got a full kitchen. I've got a Domatic two burner propane stove. A, uh, a sink with running hot water. Uh, the trailer carries about 21 gallons. Um, over here I have a nice prep surface area which I'm typically using for my griddle. And then above us to help us prevent us from sunburning, uh, I've got a 230270 awning. Um, the, the trailer does have timber and suspension as well as uh, KMC beadlock wheels on 35 inch tires. Um, I run an 11 pound propane tank. And that is pretty much the majority of the details on the trailer.